Ever since I started surfing a few years ago, I became pretty interested in the lives of professional surfers. I follow a lot of them on social media so that I can see cool videos of them surfing waves and pick up tips and things like that. And overall, it's great, but the unfortunate aspect is that I've been exposed to the personal opinions of professional surfers. And that's a shame because a lot of them are giant morons. Uh, now, I don't mean to single out surfers here because I'm sure every sport has its share of idiots. Uh, but today I want to specifically talk about Laird Hamilton, who is a professional big wave surfer, one of the greatest who has ever lived. And when I say big waves, I mean giant waves, like 50 foot waves. This guy is surfing on the regular and doesn't seem to scare him at all, even though it's terrifying. And that in and of itself might qualify him as a moron to some people, but not to me. I I get it. Extreme sports are fun. Uh, but it turns out he is unfortunately an idiot, as I discovered this week when he told TMZ in regards to shark attacks, and I quote, the most common reason to be bitten is a woman with her period, which people don't even think about that. If a woman has her period, there's blood in the water. Uh, wow, as a woman, I've been blamed for a lot of things like earthquakes in Iran, rape epidemics, the ultimate destruction of the atheist movement as we know it, but this is a new one. Uh, let's take a look at Laird's little factoid and see what might be wrong with it. Uh, first of all, I was curious about the statistics. Uh, if menstruating women are the primary reason for most shark attacks, it stands to reason that they would be bitten more often than men. Unfortunately, or fortunately if you're a woman, I guess, uh, of all the shark attacks that have ever been on record spanning centuries, nearly every one has had a male victim. Uh, only about 6% involve women. And that number of women is growing uh, because sharks don't actually have a preference for one gender or the other. It's just that men statistically and historically have been more likely to be in the water doing things that make them look like seals, basically. So surfing or swimming in wetsuits long distance over open ocean. These have traditionally been male-oriented sports, and so men tend to be bitten more often than women. Uh, so if only six out of a hundred shark attacks involve women, uh, and of those, we have no data to tell us which of the six women may have been menstruating at the time of the bite. Uh, but even if we su assume that 100% of them were menstruating when they were bitten, there is absolutely no way, and I quote, that that can be the most common reason to be bitten. Six out of 100 people are women. It makes absolutely no sense, Laird, sorry. Uh, but all of this did get me wondering, are sharks more likely to attack a woman while she's menstruating? Uh, that's a lie, actually. I didn't start wondering because of this. That's something that I wondered two years ago when I first started surfing because, I mean, come on, I'm in San Francisco where we have more great whites than Republicans. Uh, I'm not gonna go in the water if there are a few days of the year that seem to make me tastier. So I did look into it, and it turns out the answer is probably not. Sharks are probably not more likely to attack a menstruating woman. Uh, there haven't been any double-blinded studies on this, which is a real shame, and I, for one, would like to volunteer to hang out in a shark cage while on or off my period for the purposes of science. Call me. Uh, but there was a small study apparently done in the late 60s that found that sharks in the open ocean were not at all interested in menstrual blood or any other human bodily fluid except for gut liquid for some reason. Uh, and there are loads of female divers and surfers and others who report being in the ocean surrounded by sharks at the time of menstruation and experiencing absolutely no increased aggression from sharks. Uh, women only menstruate an average of one to six tablespoons of blood over the course of their cycle, um, which means that at max, we're talking about 
a tablespoon per day. Uh, even if you're in the ocean for six hours, uh, that still only works out to less than a teaspoon of blood, which, by the way, you're probably still keeping inside your body with a menstrual cup or a tampon or a wetsuit. Uh, sharks may be good at smelling blood, but if they're close enough to smell less than a teaspoon of it, contained inside your wetsuit, then they're probably close enough to already see and hear you splashing around and be able to judge whether or not they want to take a bite out of you. Uh, so to sum up, Laird Hamilton, no, menstruating women are not the primary cause of shark attacks by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, so please stick to the big waves, leave the biology to the experts. <laughs>